back to the channel so this is going to be my new books video for December I didn't get that many um, I'd treated myself to some Christmas ones so um, I didn't go that crazy during December um, and I didn't get many colouring Christmas presents so there you go so these first ones that I've got are my uh, some new George Tufexis books um, like new to me, not new published. Uh, so this is the unbelievable cryptozoology colouring book um, by George Tufexi. So it's not colour by number, but they're really detailed um, pictures. So these are all different cryptids. So let me get you one that you'll know. So this is a yeti. Um, so there's that. Then um, here's my localish one, Loch Ness monster. So that's that one. And then also got river monsters because um, there are some incredible uh, huge fish out there. So um, I was interested in that. So, um, yeah, again, same style, super detailed, with information about them at the bottom there. Um, and it's not just fish, um, any sort of monster, so crocodile, uh, hippo, yeah. So, that's that one. Um, and then I got, um, this is a series that he does, Monster Mashup. So this one is Rise of the Predators. Uh, so there's like a story. So in this this one, um, when a radioactive virus transforms ordinary deep sea creatures into gigantic monsters, scientists create a new weapon to battle the mutant marauders. So what they do is, um, here's the monster. What's going to be the best creature that we already have to defeat this monster? A bear. Well, a bear isn't good enough by itself. We need to make him mahoosive. So that's what they do. They... Um, yeah make him really massive so that's what we've got going on here um so yeah so here's the monster and the best thing would be if we make an asian tiger prawn gigantic so <laughs> really detailed pictures again just a crazy idea so you'll see these all flipped through um in a video coming up because I'm going to do my George Tufexis um, collection part two. So you'll see them as well as the other ones that I've got. Okay, so then I got this one. Creative Haven Mandala Tecolations by John Wick. Um, so classic John Wick designed. Really nice. Uh, quite big spaces though actually. So marker pens will work. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this. Um, I have done one. I did this at the very end of November, um, so it didn't get included in my November complete uh, finishes, and then I didn't include it in my December one either, so <laughs> it just got forgotten, um, which is really sad. So here it is, ta-da, all in glitter gel pen, so that looks amazing. So that's that one. Okay, um, next up I've got Mardi Gras Masks by Becky Torres Designs. So this is literally just all masks. Um, I saw this on somebody else's video um, and I just thought that this would be really great. Imagine if I actually stuck feathers on. So I think rather than just colouring these, I'm going to decorate them as if they are a mask. And I think that will look really stunning. Um, so that's that one. Okay, so then um, I've got a couple of religious books. This is the first one. Um, Believe in Magic. Okay, this is by Claire Scully. Really nice pictures. As I say, they are religious. Um, so that's nice. I am always jealous of people colouring in Bible colouring books and things like that, so it's nice to have um, something for me. 
because there's writing on this side I'm not going to be using markers um, this is nice paper um, if I do want to use markers I'll copy the page and then stick it back in when it's done um, so I had got this book um, in my wish list because it was um, it hadn't been published yet but there were two entries on Amazon one of them was <laughs> One of them was more expensive than the other, so I was waiting to see what that was all about. But then I was on, on the Works website, um, and it was on there for like half the price of everywhere else, so obviously I was having that. So that's really good. Also from the Works, I got this, The Labyrinth, which is Mythical Beasts. This is by Richard Merritt and Sabine Reinhardt. Um, does list everything that's in here so that's great but these are really detailed um, a bit zen doodly but if the front picture is anything to go by they're going to look stunning when they are done okay this is one of Jade Summer's later releases. I have already flipped through this, um, so if you want to see what's in it, have a look for that video. Um, so this is Flowers and Swirls. So these are quite simple, so they're going to be really easy to do. Be able to add stickles and exciting things like that to it. Um, and there is an octopus, so what more could you want? So yeah, swirly, florally but they don't like follow a set layout, there's all different like some of them are symmetrical, some of them are a bit more jaunty so yeah, that's going to be a really pretty one okay, this is the other religious book that I've got my mum bought me this for Christmas, this is the only colouring Christmas present that I got um, so I need to be doing something about that uh, so um, this is sorry goddess nature by christina McAllister. um really pretty grayscale artwork again religious images of different goddesses some of them have got information on this side it is in gray so it's not super easy to see but yeah so yes, that's nice. And then the last one that I got um, was Dreams Come True by Jade Summer. Um, so they brought out, you know, they've been doing a lot of these 100 um, books where there's multiple books combined. Um, and they brought out like a phrase one. I didn't feel that I needed a 100 of them, but it did make me think, oh, I would like one. So I went and had a bit of a look at what the different books were that had been joined and this one appealed to me. I like the pictures that go with some of them, they're really cute. So um, I really like this. I decided I'm going to work my way through this book um, and have it as a book. <laughs> oh look at him! <sighs> have it as a book that I'd like to finish. So, those are all my new books for the month of December. As I say, not that many, um, because I was focusing on Christmas and I'd already got enough Christmas books to tide me over. Okay guys, um, I will see you in the next video then. If you enjoyed this one, please do give it a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel and then next time I put a video up, you will know about it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.